Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation of Vantage, an innovative platform for extracting insights from videos captured from space. Vantage is the Earth Observation, Video Analytics and Exploitation platform. It's being built by EarthEye and CGI with funding from the European Space Agency. It offers an online collaborative workspace for processing and analysing video data captured from Earth observation satellites. So what is so interesting about video from space, you might ask? Well, video adds a time dimension to your Earth observation imagery. It allows you to see movement such as cars on a highway or ships in a port, and also enables a range of new types of analytics, including more accurate 3D modelling and creating super resolution images as well as helping to mitigate cloud cover. Vantage is a two-year project. The first version went live in September 2020 and the latest release adds a new graphical user interface, several new processing functions and Jupyter Hub integration. We will continue to release new versions of the platform every four months. We're now going to show you a quick demonstration of how to find and interrogate satellite videos in the platform. So here is the Vantage user interface. The data discovery function provides access to a catalogue of video products. Here we are searching the VividX2 data collection for videos from EarthEye's prototype video satellite. As you find videos of interest, you can add them as layers to your map. You can also preview the video in a pop-up window. You can then zoom across to the AOI relevant to that video and adjust the opacity. You can zoom into the video and can also zoom into the dataset time extent that you see at the bottom of the screen. As you play the video, you see the time marker advancing from frame to frame of the video sequence. In Vantage, you also have access to your own user workspace and the ability to upload your own data to the platform. Once you have found a video of interest, you are able to bookmark it and create your own folders for bookmarks. You can also upload your own datasets for processing in the platform and store results of any processing that you have carried out. As I mentioned, the platform includes a number of predefined analytics functions. We only have time to look at one of them today, so I'll show you what the one that tracks moving objects. Here we are, back in the Vantage platform. From the menu on the left, you can select from the range of predefined services in the platform. In this case, we choose the one for tracking moving objects. You can then draw a polygon around your area of interest and search the VividX2 catalog for relevant videos. In this case, there's only one. You select it and then enter the parameters required for the service and then press next step to set it running. Soon you see that the job has completed successfully and has created an output file, which you can download. Once downloaded, you can open the zip file and inspect the outputs. In this case, the output is itself a video, with a moving object being tracked as it moves through the video scene. You can see that the moving aeroplane is successfully tracked, even if the individual frames of the video are not very steady in this example. Finally, I'll show you the, briefly the Jupyter Hub integration, where you can upload your own algorithms and create your own workflows. So back here in the platform, you can select code from the top right menu to launch this functionality. Once you've signed in, you can select from minimal or advanced environments or advanced with sample code. Vantage creates a workspace for you which takes a couple of moments. You are then taken to the launcher screen. As you see here, 
you can straight away start writing your own Python script. To help you get started, there is a README file and there is predefined example code. We have sample code for accessing the catalog, for triggering a job, and for creating your own workflows. The workflows enable you to chain multiple functions together using the output of one processing as the input to the next. Finally, you can also access the Jupyter Hub command terminal through this interface. I'm afraid that's all we have time for. Thank you for watching. We hope you found it informative. For more information, please visit the platform or the EarthEye website.